Sorry, hard work. I read it earlier. <laughs> Had, had, in my had, defense, I haven't had my internet for the better part of the day, so... So, Sherman? Mm-hmm? Are you gonna take the range card? I'll do the mortar loading and firing. Um, oh, well, you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't load and fire simultaneously. You have to be either in the tube aiming and firing it, or you have to be outside the tube loading it. Uh, yeah, well... So I'll handle loading, you handle aiming and firing. Sure. Will we uh will we have a support crate um in the just wait, just wait, hold on uh Sherman if you if you are are you both gonna be next to the mortar? Well yeah we're gonna need to be assuming we start using it otherwise we'll be in a spotting position doing J Tech. Yeah that's what so the problem is from the mortar pit you're not really gonna be able to spot anything. Yeah, that's fine. We set the mortar up and move to a spotting position conduct okay. our action from the spotting position and then move over to the mortar when necessary. Okay. What, what is your max range on the mortar? 2.3 clicks. That's far. Okay. However, I doubt that you'd be engaging anything because if you can stick your head out long enough to spot 2.3 clicks away, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just sure. waiting for two people to get a map screen. One more. Map's a little bit busy. Can we? What's oh, the awesome. extra? Oh, the, uh, Bucky's, did you put in the other markers in direct shelter? Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. And now we'll do. Um, one can take more. Yes. Oh, we'll go. We'll run through it now. Just waiting for one more to get on map screen. Big stick. I know Rosalind. Just waiting on Taurus. Taurus, you coming? Yeah, it's busy downloading the mission file. Okay. Was the mission file big, guys? Yes. <laughs> you make seven two now. Sorry, but not sorry. Mission starts, and the first thing you hear is Rick Astley. <laughs> <laughs> Sherman, uh, there was a, a point in my life where I was not part of ZA, but mm -hmm. I thought to myself that that is probably the best way for me to leave a community. <laughs> Just you know, hype up a whole community, and then you... <laughs> Have a out outro. Actually, <laughs> 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 I'm fucking off. Cheers, guys. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, can we start? Okay. Just explain to me what you where you want to take everybody, just so that I can see. Um, maybe what I'll do is in Zeus quickly. I'll just delete what I perceive uh, perceive to be threats at this point in time. Do you want to take them outside take of the them? base uh, in terms of the smaller base? Wait. Hold on. Uh, do you mean as as we start the mission, or just to go look at the place? Talking about look the tour, yeah. Again? So uh, ba basically, do you want to take the team uh, or the platoon out further than the blue markers? Uh, the external perimeter. The only I uh, just want to take uh, the engineer to the slam sites. Okay, I'll give you then the go ahead, um, but I need to do something there first. No, I think I think there's confusion going on here. Uh, Bucky's, you're talking about letting people know where everything is. And now we're talking about initial setup for me. Um, are, we, are we starting the mission now, or are we going to go in for a look look around? No, no, look around. That's pretty much it. Oh. But if you want to take them outside of the base base, the big base, you need Blueprint. to tell me that. No. Is, well, is it, I didn't it, even want to do the look around, but it's fine. We can just go. No, we won't go at the base. Okay. I'll tell you guys um, then. Okay. Um, then you guys can inspect the towers as well. But don't go yeah. up into the towers right now. Okay. Um, can I go in? Okay. So, uh, so I'm assuming this is just a look around, right? We're just doing a base tour as if we were here a few months before. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. Pretty much. And then okay. we'll come back in, start again. Yeah. Okay. 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 So nobody worry about getting up. <laughs> okay. User left your channel. User left your channel. User left your channel.
user joined your channel. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. 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 Right, listen up. Um, we are currently in the inner uh, part of the base, which I'm going to refer to as the Citadel. Open your maps. You can follow on the map. Yeah. So if you look on the map, uh, it's this orange uh, internal structure uh, with the red blocks uh, also dispersed around it. So this we're going to call this the Citadel. You will see just to the northeast of that uh, little gray building, that doesn't exist. You can just ignore that. It doesn't exist in this map. And neither do the walls around the gray building exist. Yeah. These so, are here, but this doesn't. Yeah, so you will see the inner orange structure is the citadel, and the bigger, larger outer blue lines are the outer is the outer perimeter of the base. Within the citadel, there are two towers, calling it North Tower and South Tower. So if you look uh, either side of this courtyard that we're in now, it's these two towers. Looks like small ATC towers. Okay. Um, there is also, or there are two uh, concrete bunkers or two concrete. Uh, uh, now, yeah. Okay. All enemies have been deleted, so you can freely move about now. Okay, thanks. Uh, where's the, where are those bunker, those concrete bunker things? So the Behind first, you? first indirect shelter is this way. Uh, indirect shelter, sure. So you basically run and you hope yeah. and pray for the best. <laughs> Yeah, so if we do take mortar fire, uh, there's two. There are two of these. One there, uh, one there one and pretty much at the base of those way. towers. So you can go ahead and shelter. Yeah, well the other one's here. Structures, yeah. So what will happen is D3 will go to the north tower uh, and overwatch and look out there with the jabs and whatever um, else they have. I, I don't know if you will be able to fire the jabs from inside the base as well. Yeah. Where's the medical tent? Balcony thing there. Balcony tent, oh. yeah, D4, uh, you are free to use your own overwatch lookout for for the mortars and for cares if you need to, but the Preferably don't use the same tower as D3, so you can use the south tower if you need to. Uh, mm -hmm. but, uh, but you're free to, to adjust as needed. Um, so initially, we're going to start on the outer walls. So the idea, we'll go outside now. So the idea would be that uh, due to the proximity of the town to the eastern wall, we will have D1 move to the eastern wall, 1-1 one, one to the northeast corner, 1-2 uh, to the southeast corner. Um, set up there. You can sp make sure that you spread out so that you don't all get taken out by by a single RPG or anything like that. Uh, you will probably be moved around during the uh, f the course of the mission as we get intelligence of approaching forces and from the intel officer and. Uh, if you go out there, you will see the mortar pit. Um, what else? Okay, and then we're going to have the engineer move out to slam A and slam B to plant, to plant uh, obviously plant slams. You will also plant some uh, claymores at the entrances at the walls as well as around the citadel. He, uh, after he's planted them, the engineer will mark them on the map. As, as needed, remember that the, the claymores are command fired. So if you f do see enemies uh, in the mortars effective range, uh, just call up uh, the 
marker on the map that you want to be executed, and then we'll have the ex engineer blow that. Um, all right, so let's, I think let's just go out and move to the east wall so that we can just see what that looks like. Pips as he places uh, places the slams, and also too that you keep a 360 lookout macro terrain with your with your thermals and Mark One eyeballs to make sure we don't get get a surprise from any of the other directions. We don't have enough people to put all around the base. Copy. And then obviously Ghost Rider will get in the air and provide macro ISR and then later cats when we need it. Just a point that D1, you also have the same task as D3 when I go out the, the eastern side of the base, if I can. Uh, then you also have to give me overwatch when I'm planting there as well. Okay. Yeah, so D1 will give overwatch for the engineer at slam A, and for slam B it will have to be uh, D3. Yeah. Then uh -huh. also medical, uh, the base is quite big. If someone gets hit somewhere, it's quite a long way for them to, to run back to the medical tent to bring them back. So I'll need D5 to be mobile. Uh, you can use any ve the, your medical vehicle if needed. Uh, so try and try and get around uh, quickly if you need to respond to someone. Copy. Uh, but the officially our CCP or our medical tent is at the medical tent, obviously. Not a quad here, maybe. No. Oh, good part. There's none. What, what do you guys think? The Americans just lost nearly 500 million rand. You expect a quad fight? Middle of the guy. <laughs> 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 right. Uh, anyone want to see anything else? Fuck, is anything else we need to show? Maybe um, just get on the wall and have a look at the town if you want to. Yeah. Uh, do you want uh, dragons to be within that line? Let's go check something with three on the shop. <laughs> ARs as well. Okay, and the intel will appear on this little disc here. Oh, that's why Noah's camping inside here. 
I'll, you'll see me crying in this corner, in the fetal position. No cry baiting though. <laughs> Who's your friend? <laughs> it's Bob. This guy, looks about, this guy looks about as nervous as Mr. Ed. Now, just for the so, other people uh, who wants to utilize this bunker, um, if you, instead of going left, you, uh, sorry, right, you go left, you can and this is where you will find all bunkers and stuff and platforms and stuff to walk over. No, no, no. Yeah. Some more varnish. Okay. Uh, I'm already dead. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. If you need to get off very quickly, you can do this. You can run off here, you can run off here, and you can run off here. Fuck off. Okay, so if you really need to get off yes. with this as quickly as possible without taking damage. Okay, no, that's the only thing, and the resupply crates. Yeah, maybe just let's go west quickly. Going back west. The medical tent on the left hand side, oh. more to put on the right hand side. Yeah, I put a helipad here, it's not necessary, but there's your resupply crates at the end. Yeah, oh. like it, okay. Okay, and then obviously you, you got your little bit here. Okay, now well, I think that's everything that I could okay. possibly show you. Yeah, that's good, let's go. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. So, what did you guys think of the mission? It's <laughs> <beautiful>. <laughs> easy. Easy. I think someone needed to tell Sherman that we weren't actually getting up there. <laughs> Yes, I was holding rounds over to the uh, oh. to the mortar. Yeah, so, uh, Peps will be in charge of uh, resupply after he's done <coughs> his. Right, uh, we can go to map screen and then we'll just do a quick recap and then we can go. <sighs> I think well, the point of the Taliban, sorry, um, Bucky's. Yeah. Went to the Taliban. America gave me stuff to the Taliban. Apparently, there's a big billboard on some big highway with a photo of Biden dressed in Taliban uh, clothes, and it says Biden making the Taliban great again. Ironic. Ironic when you consider it was the Trump Trump administration that decided to negotiate with the Taliban. Yeah. Yeah, but actually, they decided actually, to actually put uh, um, conditions. Well, negotiations actually and, began with the Obama administration. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, it's it's a mm. funny trick about American politics is that mm. so often what the predecessor did is what actually ends up happening in the next term. Yeah. And then everyone blames that president whose current term it is. No, but he had conditions. Um, Biden had no conditions. He just went yeah. off his <laughs> I'm just waiting on Taurus. To this. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to go and do a quick recap because we've done a lot of it now. Uh so obviously we are at FOB that Jackson. Uh, we expect to take attack from uh, ISIS insurgents, approximately 150 of them armed with the ZU-23s, uh, launchers, uh, all kinds of uh, insurgent weapons, uh, especially VBIADs. Um, so we expect a, a fair number of technicals, uh, suicide trucks and mounted weapons. Um, we do have with us a ANA intelligence officer that will be providing us with uh, periodic intelligence on attacking forces because they are monitoring the ICOM of the enemy. Um, so the intent is that uh, D1, as we kit up, I want D1 to kit up immediately. You, I do realize you have two new members in your squad that sometimes takes a little longer to, to, to kit up. What yeah, I want you to I do. Don't even, I don't even know how to use the radio. No, it's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> um, so, the two FTLs, I want you to. Uh, you can just. Uh, actually, SR is at brute force. You can decide how you want to do this, but I, I want to get that eastern wall surveillance up ASAP. So, I would 
suggest I, that I you don't wait. I think the two wait. ARs can um, kit up immediately yeah. and move with yeah, me. So there. I suggest don't don't wait for everyone to be kitted up. Let the guys that can, that know how and can, mm. let them go and leave one or two people behind to help the new guys kit up. Okay. So that we have that up. I'll leave up to you how you do that. Uh, D3, so, so, so D1, I need you to get to the eastern wall, to the corners, as I said, start getting getting eyes out. Uh, obviously, uh, you will have uh, the engineer going out that gate on the northeast corner to plant slams at slam A. He will, it's not, it's, I just put a general marker there. He will put it in some of the intersections that he deems fit there. Uh, once he's back, uh, once he moves to the western side to slam B, you you are no longer responsible for his overwatch. Um, you will remain on that until we the intelligence and or situation changes, and and uh, we will move you around uh, for that. If you need resupply or medic or anything, just communicate that. We will make sure that we <laughs> try and reinforce you and resupply you where you are. Dragon three, uh, you're going to move to the northern tower. Copy. Do note that tower is not invincible. Uh, so if you do take some uh <laughs> serious fire uh or it is not feasible to stay there uh i will leave it up to you, you to decide when uh you are free to relocate if necessary just remember your macro terrain overwatch is quite important especially with your thermals yes um you are to prioritize uh firstly your overwatch for uh slam b site for the engineer yes um but don't all sit and look for look at him. Obviously, you have I think, three or four members you can you can look out all over. I want you to prioritize uh Z223s if you can find them, and any vehicle born IEDs and any other technicals. Um leave infantry in the open, uh, either for CAS or for uh, ground forces to deal with. I want you to prioritize vehicles. Okay. D4, you've, you've got your mortar pit. Uh, you are free to use any overwatch or spotting location. South Tower is there for you. I just prefer not to be North Tower. Uh, don't want to cluster everyone in one tower. D5, you've got your medical tent. You saw your medical vehicle. Uh, you will be mobile within the base. Uh, make sure that you stay out of arm's way uh, and that you assist the people wherever they are. And then Ghost Rider, I need you up uh, ASAP uh, so that we can start getting an eye on the environment. Note there are ZT-23s, uh, you will probably have to start off first with ISR uh, at a safe altitude. And then uh, we can start directing CAS as we have a better view of the battlefield and the threats are from the ZTs. Um if the outer perimeter, so the first stage is getting to your points, uh, engineer is going to slam A and B, is then going to go ahead uh, planting some mortars. Uh, um, claymores. Claymores. After that, Pips, I need you to be sort of a free uh, multi tool Copy to that. assist with uh, ammo resupply and things like that if possible. I'll be a leatherman, not a leatherneck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then that is the first stage. We will. Uh, uh, ward off any attacks. If at any stage the outer perimeter gets breached or overrun uh, and we feel the situation uh, becomes un untenable with us on the outer perimeter, everyone will fall back to the inner perimeter, to the inner base, the citadel, and we will uh, entrench there and, and, and uh, defend from that position. Uh, rules of <clears throat> sorry, rules of engagement. Uh, obviously, we have a civilian town to the east there's a small civilian town to the west just about just on the other side of a little hill that we can't really see uh d4 no mortars into the civilian uh, populated area um any vehicle that approaches directly approaches the base is deemed hostile um even if there are civilian if the if the enemy wants to use civilians as shields uh, if they've loaded a civilian into an IED vehicle, uh, that civilian has died already. So we will kill them. Um, that is about it. Any questions? Anything I missed? Is there, uh, can there be any way of taking out vehicles except for me? Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, shoot the wheels, we shoot, shoot the engine. So shoot if it's, the if engine. No, 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 no. I'm talking about launcher-wise. 
Well, I, oh. I do or we going horse? No, so sorry. Okay, so D1, your kit. Um, you, I want you to take mores and as much ammo as you can. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to put a weight limit because uh, we don't really have to go anywhere. So you can uh, take in as many mores as you can. Uh, D3, javelin and mores and as much ammo as you can. Um, so, yeah. Uh, oh, no, Mach 48. 48. Say again? D3, not going to take Mach 48. Yeah, <clears throat> isn't that your... Oh, okay. Sure. No, Mark 48 is the machine gun. We want them to take jabs. Okay. But do they not take a machine gun if they take a jab? Yeah. Well, oh. well you can you can surely take both of them as we're not going to move around a lot. Well, well, we have one guy with a jab. Okay, fair and, enough. No, I was no. just thinking in terms of ammo bearing capacity and... Oh, yes. You know. So I would rather have the jab up... Um... Hmm. Uh, no. Yes. Uh, seeing as I'm driving around a lot, I could take a resupply and put it in my, my truck. And then they can just resupply when I get to them each time. That might be a good idea. Yeah, Because it's quite far awesome. to run to go and get uh, jav javs or uh, moles. Yeah, so uh, that's a good idea. Um, just coordinate with Pips the, between the two of you. Because uh, I think primarily Pips can then re can resupply if you need to do with medical stuff. I think you two might even team up tonight and just run together yeah, cool. and make sure everyone is, is enforced and supplied and sorted wherever they are. Okay. It's a good idea. Um, D3, I'm going to leave it up to you to get your kit, whatever you need, whatever you can carry. Obviously, we prioritize uh, the launches for the vehicles. Uh, if you can carry a Mark 48 as well, it'd be bonus. All right, Andrew, uh, sorry, let me just check quickly. Uh, quick question, is there going to be a stream for tonight? Yeah. It's already Andrew? up. It's already up. Is it, it up? Oh, is it on the, is it on, oh, is it on the Facebook? Okay. Yes, yeah. 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 On streamed. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, we stream to Facebook. Uh, just note that I don't expect um, vehicles and crates to survive until the end of the mission, because the out in the, so, the soft targets out in the open against mortar strikes probably not going to last all the way to the end of the mission. Yeah, no. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, Pips? Yep. Uh, sorry. No, I've got a uh, chain of death. I've got uh, another 50 seconds, so y the mission might launch as soon as I time out. That's fine. Um, um, yeah. Are you guys going to go into the mission then? Yeah, if it launches us in, we'll we'll go. We're pretty much ready. Okay, Just one, that's fine. One thing. That's one, yeah. Uh, Andrew, I suggest, Andrew, take the two new riflemen and make the kit, sort the kit. Then I'll take one squad with um, SL, and we go north and south of the eastern side. Well, okay. Britt can, Brit can sort that out. It's fine. Just one of the last things, quickly, succession of commands, CO, then Dragon 3, Dragon 4, Dragon 1. Um, normal frequencies. Uh, Ghost, are you going to stay on Platoon Net? Yeah. Okay. So we'll, so ignore the Casnet then. We'll stay on Platoon Net. Other thing, remember, Grenadiers, your red smoke, are, that's a very good way for signaling uh, where the enemy is so that we can ca we, the Ghost Rider can, can shoot them. Also, the traces, as we practiced in that one, practiced uh, on the one Tuesday. If Ghost Rider is incoming, uh, shooting the targets with traces is a very good way for him to see exactly where to shoot. Okay. And All remember right. your grenades. Yeah. You don't want to be fighting an enemy that's opposite the wall with rifles. Yeah, if you can hear them, but not see them, grenades. Uh, yeah. Any questions? Any last notes? Uh, just for uh, Ghost Rider, will you be able to see a laser to um, I don't think Ghost has laser-guided weapons. Uh, no, I know, but I think he probably means for pointing. I'm trying to remember now, uh, yeah. we have a flip pod. Uh, I think we should be able to with the thermals on the flip pod, I think. It should be. It might not be that easy to see, but uh, yeah, should be doable. But uh, traces are probably probably can could be quicker. Okay, traces and red smoke. I mean, that's yeah. the daylight. Mm. Red smoke for your red chain. <laughs> and a lot of smokes for us to you know, fall back if we need to. All right, do I'm this. Busy. I'm just I'm locked in back now. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> it's been <laughs> 13 channel. months. 13 months since the last defense mission. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that was Christmas. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm uh, using Tiger. 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 Yeah, I'm, still, I'm not sure why I'm losing connection here. Because um, you've got a split personality. I've got a Tiger 1 and a Tiger 11 there. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'm in. I can go now. <laughs> right, let's go. Good luck, guys. Thank you. This is weird, no one else has loaded in. There we go. Yeah, when the mission maker wishes you good luck just before the start, you should be like, damn you. <laughs> what have you done? Go ahead, Dragonfin, let's get up. Hello? Oh shit, sorry. Uh, I took your laser designator, sorry about that. Back though. Okay, so let me know if you spawn my vehicle. Okay. Well, for all no. I'm gonna spawn it right now. Oh, come on. Okay, Signum. Copy that. Cool. Yeah, obviously, make sure you get a 152 or they, uh, and uh, Android device. I actually, don't need either of them because the chopper will give you both, but that's really all you really need. Alright, what do I need to take? Okay, go off, go all the way down and grab a backpack. Um, you can get a 152 and an Android oh, device, although both, you can get a, there is a radio right, built into the chopper oh, and a, a Bluetooth course. track in the so chopper, so I don't actually need either of them. Will be but I'll okay. to you. As well. uh, Dietra, you need help as well? Yes, please. Perfect, I'll talk to you both at the same time then. So both have backpack, right? Actually, yeah. what, what can help yeah. is the 343, okay, because I don't have a 343, uh, so if you want to, you want to tie, uh, like go into the comms, it might help. Okay, I've got a few 343. Uh, grabbing in both yeah, no, grab a Colt M4 A1 carbine. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Oh, Moses, help out, help out the guys. Uh, dump any. Yeah. Uh, so maybe behind the front. Sorry, front what? Three more. Okay. Yeah. Both of you grab that. Both of you grab the six hour. Ready to get the chop. Five. The the handgun. Yeah. Uh, rounds carried over to that side. Scroll down and then you see the radio. Grab the mortar back. Mm, to assemble the mortar over there. I know there's one in there, but trust me, just assemble it next to the tent. Dragon 3, that's the wrong radio, but it's fine, just a radio check. Copy, let me know when you have uh, your Overwatch up and running over. Dragon 4, this is actual for radio check. Dragon 4, okay. Let's write an actual radio check. Okay. Copy. One one radio yeah, check. Take in fact. Uh, engineers currently at the northeast gate. I'm just having a look around. I have some eyes on civilians. Uh, 
no other hostiles at the moment. Um, we'll be moving out as soon as Dragon One's in position. Copy, uh, hold. while it's clear. Pick one light with uh, three for the overwatch out. Okay, okay uh, do you, have you used the blue first tracker before? C tab. Actual, this is free, dragon free, we in position. Signal. Over. Copy three, uh, engineer is going to move the slam slide side bravo. You want to overwatch him up. Signal, can you hear me? Signum, hello? Signum, do you hear me? Yes, Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, can okay. you hear me? Yeah, have you used Blue Force Tracker before? I have not. Okay, so you just press H, or Control H, or uh, Michael Blondie Corner, H or Control H, H, one of them will be bring you, bring you full screen. Then you just ho hover over where the enemy is on the map, you just double click, and then you can place down information about the units. They can hover over again and press the delete key and it'll delete. So um, you can, like, for example, see where they are, the bearing uh, distance, the um, and uh, you Send can. Free over. Uh, on the Copy. I wanted to get blur, start getting a, a proper look around uh, 360. Mark the position. Uh, see what you and can see about this attack that we're getting now. Any 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 vehicles? Any forces? Communicating with now. Copy that. We'll do Roger. out. So I'm going to be just flying north-south like this, so I think it's the safest thing to do. I'm going to be keeping up speed and not flying over where the enemy might be. Roger that. And maybe anything else to keep. Um, uh, we've got some more sightings, uh, active targets, and engaging uh, after positive um, identification. Copy, confirm all infantry. Uh, positive, all infantry so far. Copy out. Okay, are, are you sorted so far? Uh, yeah, I'm just um, familiarizing myself. Figure out where it is, then just mark on Blue Force Tracker and then report it and the, with a timestamp. Just report that you found a technical southeast of FOB, if that's the one, uh, with time, time, mark timestamp and the timestamp mark that you got. So Blue Force Tracker. Okay, so the same. but it's quite risky. Yeah, that's very risky.
Medic you are uh, on it. All stations uh, note we have intel that the enemy is mobilizing in the town to take the eastern front of the compound. The enemy is uh, planning to attack the uh, eastern side of the compound they are in massing in the town now. Three copy. Dragon 4 established on the south tower. Copy Dragon 4, uh, confirm you uh, copied the last intel of it. Yes. Yeah. Dragon 3, uh, uh, this is actual. Then for free, uh, copy, have you spotted any vehicles with the... Uh, do I have under enemy slint? Negative, yeah. nothing so far, over. Copy on. Dragon 1, French here. Have you got any eyes in the northeast corner of the uh, compound? Would it be safe for me to leave? Now we've got one one at the northeast corner, uh, engineer. Copy that. Uh, which Dragon channel four, should I be on? Enemy infantry squad channel approaching one. the south. Just keep it brief and concise. I keep triggering my two yes. infantry squad with soft pack weapons. Yeah, you can you can use a uh, you know self interaction Good. go to the one five two instead of the S P T T one. Slam side B is uh, mined and marked on map. Copy cancel slam side Alpha uh, risk is too high. Copy that. Uh, suggest perhaps uh, putting up some slams within the entrance way to the base at east. I firm go ahead. Uh, Send message over. Copy your status, are you up? Uh, have you spotted anything in concerning with the Zetus? Yeah, we have. Uh, not, I don't think we spotted anything with the Zetus. We have spotted something with technicals. Um, my observer is going to contact you momentarily on the team next to uh, I don't think I grabbed the 152. Okay. Uh, one, one, use ace copy. interaction on uh, an uh, ace interaction or self uh, interaction, uh, and then you'll see message. vehicle like radio racks. Just, just select the, um, the, the thing, um, yeah, you'll just select the Yoshi, one of three. Yeah, just set it as active, uh, and then just, uh, you, it'll, it'll do okay. the radio they can use, extra radio. Okay. That's right. Hey there, are you on this net over? Uh, yes, sir. I was looking for you on the CAS net earlier. Roger, since I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be mostly just E-CAS, I'll stay on the doing that for Yeah, fair enough. Goal uh, side from all who actual. Uh, Phoenix? I don't know. Oh, oh it's, it's uh, Dragon Action. Dragon Actual, this is Ghost Rider. No, that's one of the 2-4-3. Set it to TT1 if you want, then it was confusing. Dragon Actual, Dragon 4, sighting on a stationary gun set up uh, on the south tower, bearing 0 to uh, 300 meters out. It looks like in prepared trenches. Copy, are you able to engage that? Is it clear of any of civilians? Uh, no, there are, it looks like, uh, hostages additional behind that a couple hundred meters, enemy technical, is moving to be north to south. Copy, can you talk D3 onto that enemy technical? They are already firing it from the looks of it. We have two vehicles approaching from the east with APG. Um, they're traveling south uh, what, on a road far from our position. Ever. Um, those are all the targets. Three, this is actual, you have eyes on those targets. 
Well, uh, uh, I lost sight of them, but I'm searching for them now. Over. Over your other radio, which should be there. Yeah, uh, are too clear to engage gotcha. them when we enable them. Copy that, out. Uh, additional Dragon 1, Dragon 4, that area your ARs are firing over and that bush line is where the static MG is located. I copy static MG in that position. I mean, if you, okay, if it raises too much of a problem, I can just One, relay. Can you mark that, that, that energy 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 position for the coast? Definitely. Dragon 4, I'm seeing shelling landing in the town itself. I believe the enemy are trying to zero mortars onto our position. One and three, make sure that you spread out if we take more five. Coach right at this section. Same as over. Be prioritized, see if you can find the mortar position of the Roger, my observer is just still trying to figure out the radios and then I'll contact you. How's it going so far? Second meter. Second. Yes, sir. Oh, sounds good. I've got water fire incoming. Okay, take cover, take cover. I'm going to drop my 343 in the infantry in the ether. So I only have the VLC one. Medic, I need you to drink critical center bunker. Oh, I don't have the control. Okay, did you set it as active? Yes, I set it as active in the ranks. Set as active. Megan 3 report. Um, we still up, I'm quite hurt. It's uh, yep. so you can drag it on the radio and it's set as active. myself over. So if press cap lock, nothing happens. Copy, run just first aid. If I press cap lock, nothing happens. Uh, D5 to that first. Break, uh, Dragon 4, to report. Dragon 4, I still haven't seen Sorry, uh, just on net, uh, Dragon 5, um, I am he's delayed, up and uh, he's stable out. Completely unconscious. There he's conscious out. Okay, so you hovered over, you said use, and then, uh, and then, you, you said use. Okay, what? So, Rex, Ash, I had set as active, so I set it so, as active. So, 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 so you set it, set as use? You went, you went to use and hopped over using the go. Let's stop using. Rex. Dash. Yeah. We um, have a bearing 190 from option. the southern tower. Uh, if we can get so support I set in that, that as use. Uh, can you guys give, give me a distance over? Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm going to drop my 152 and then I'll use the vehicle rack. Okay, 100%. Okay, 152 is in. Yeah, I've got the 152. That's the Ghost Rider radio check. Okay. Which one is in? Dragon 5 vehicle is 190. Okay, from so you should be good now. Start the bottom corner. Can we get in there? That's not yet. Ghost Rider action. Send over. Were you calling? Yeah, I did a radio check. Bye five. Medic, we've got immediates in the uh, center tower. Okay. Copy, I'll be there in 30 seconds. So, uh, uh, is everything good so far? Yes, okay, so I can, I can transmit now, I'm just uh, reassessing the situation we are okay. currently in. Okay. Ooh, it looks like an SPG to the south. There's a Ghost Rider, I see what might be an SPG 150 meters south uh, of the uh, base. Order. Copy Ghost, you are clear to engage for any and all targets outside of the base. Okay. We have no friendly forces outside of the base. Uh, right. Actual, this is one. Ten. Ten to one.
Ghost Rider dropping we got smoke gas, on the target. We got smoke gas, smoke gas, smoke um, Anker. Dragon 5, are you up? Round short, Ghost Rider. Hits. Bullets well, charged. Ghost Rider, shack target. Okay, took out the SPG. I saw that. We can fire you up. It's up. The secondary is just full of still launching into the base. Rider, the technical to your southeast. Uh, I've marked it on the on the map. Use your overs and outs. Mr. Uh, we are three uh, forces back at base where you want us. Uh, move to the eastern wall, please. Ghost Rider, are you able to engage that technical? Okay, we're at the eastern wall between the um, southern and uh, middle tower. Southern, yes. Yeah, I think two members can get onto the middle tower, and then maybe support one on the southern side. Dragon Actual, this is Ghost Rider, that's affirmative one taking on the uh, technical out. You cleared, over. Okay, you don't have to respond there. Um, okay, so where's this critic? It is on our left. Is it in a field? Is it our field. side or far side of the river? Uh, far side of the river. It's in the only green field surrounded by... Right, uh, this is pretty close. Uh, brown fields. There's a um, encampment just to the Field. Am I flying over uh, him now? Uh, not quite, he's on our right. Actual coming for one actual. Break, break, break. Uh, Zeus fire bearing. Was that, was that where you spotted the Z23? One again from I did not spot a Z23. Well, Z23 is like right behind us now. In Greek, I'll pass over. Approximately 101102 at. Stop shooting at us. Roughly so no visual on the actual shooter. Yeah. Uh, that seems to be a ZSU-23 in the building. It's Dragon not the vehicle that I had seen. Shooting. Judging by the rounds landing, I would say yes. 
I see a technical flaw. I see the technical as well. Guys, run at 10k, uh, possible ZQ 23 fire. Dragon 3, this is actually. 10 for Dragon 3. Do you have any eyes on that ZQ 23 that's firing? Uh, positive, I can see it. I'm just trying to get a heat signature lock on it. Uh, okay, let me know if you have taken it down now. Do you know if the shells, uh, the rocks uh, centered around it, I'm four guns from shack now. Yes, down. Check. Was that break, the one? break, break, breach. Breach in the northeast wall. Okay, let's focus on the close perimeter on the base. Northeast wall. All stations note new intel. Enemy withdraw first wave, activating cell one. We can expect the next wave of it. Expect to push through the new gap on the northeast. What actual? What was that report? Which direction over? Uh, it does not say it. Dragon 4, just to repeat, where is that uh, new hole over? Northeast corner of the perimeter. The Brack Engineer, can you uh, mind that? Copy that on my way, it's actually the northeast bunker. Northeast bunker is gone. Yep. Uh, One Bucky, time so you're technical, uh, zero, three, one, four. Zero three one four copy. Uh, do you have eyes? Can you can you uh, get into the jav? Jav launched. I confirm target is destroyed. Okay. Uh, Mortars incoming. Take cover. Dragon five coming. Are you still close by, over? Ah, uh, yes I am. Uh, can you please just stitch me up again, please? Copy. Again, one reporting. Again, one, this is actual. Any call sign from Dragon 1? Uh, okay. This is uh, Bruce Wells, I'll check on Dragon 1 there. Mr. M is uh, 1 action. Uh, send. Out. Uh, copy, just send, report, are you all up? One, one. Um, all we are on the centre back, and we are all up, just uh, sun injuries. And south. We got a hole on the north wall Actually, and south. Actually, have 1,000 engineer at base. Uh, copy, engineer, get up and uh, go slam as planned. Uh, Signum, how's it going? Uh, nice so rider, this is actual. Send over. Uh -huh. Copy, any chance you can locate that um, water position for us? Roger, we'll focus on that. Yep. I've got a ZSU on our left. Medium three, this is actual. Okay, uh, can, you, can you mark on blue for strike? Then for free over. I'm trying to. Okay, now. How are you doing on the uh, jab round, sir? Um, we've, I've got one left in the tube and one of my members carries one. Let's, uh, let us know if you do need to uh, reinforce that. Uh, we need that jab up all time. Thank you, will do. Out.
Okay, um, I've got a sighting of a vehicle 139 for over. Take it out if you can. Just keep an eye out in 139, there's uh, a technical there, but I can't get a lock on it out. Copy, any distance Dragon on actual, it? this is Ghost Rider, over. Dead for actual. Ghost Rider has eyes on a ZSU-23 marked on the on the map. Copy, which timestamp? Timestamp 0515. Okay, let's, let's Copy, look Copy, got it, uh, break Dragon 3, is that timestamp 0515? That goes right and mark, is that the technical that you were talking about, Evan? Okay, for the so mortal team, I'll let yeah, you we're know looking for mortal just team. now, uh, Let me know where you want me to fly, actually, because there might be further behind the line. Okay, I'm Mass infantry coming from um, east. Okay, tell them that. Dragon Actual, this is Ghost Rider, over. Dead. Dragon Actual has eyes on mass movement of infantry. South west of the base, far side of the river. Copy confirm, north west of the base infantry, are they in the open or in the built up area? Uh, correction. Uh, the cross One actual, the this now. is free. I Over. confirm that timestamp is the technical that I've seen. Oh. Yeah, three just pointed to the radio. You uh, stepping on Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, repeat your last over. The infantry is crossing the river. Over. Copy. I take it you cannot engage with that ZQ there. Over. That ZQ seems dead to me. That's tuning out, that's we're flying right over it, so we couldn't engage, but we, did, we have, we have lit six rockets left, so we can have to separate some strats. Uh, Dragon 3, this section. Roger, then. Then from Dragon 3, over. Uh, they've moved into the bulk up area. They get the south, east and north. I can't get a lock on it, over. Uh, north. Copy, just note there is a mass of infantry uh, uh, coming the from that direction. Um, just keep an eye out and let us know when you spot them, over. Okay, just let me know if it's going to Copy be left or right where I'm out. Go try this section. Which, which set? Uh, go try to take it, you cannot engage that infantry to the northeast with the ZU that's still up. The Z Z23 seems to be inactive, we flew right over it. We can suppress the infantry with guns, we don't have any, we only have six rockets left over. Copy, I suggest you engage that infantry if possible, and then RTB for rearmor. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think we, I'd rather find and take out the mortars first because if the mortars land at any point we landed, the helicopter is quite, quite fragile, over. Uh, you're right, uh, yeah, do that, over. The uh, infantry is... Dragon 3, keep open. an eye on that northeast infantry. Okay. Uh, Ghost Rider will not What's be catching bearing? them, What's they the are looking for the mortar, over. Copy that, Volker. What's the bearing to them? What's the bearing to them? For sighting. Smoke rounds landing in the town, zero, six, zero, those are more to smoke rounds it looks like. Six, zero. Uh, copy, all, all, uh, radio, all, all signs, uh, take cover. What's uh, the bearing again? Uh, possible mortars incoming again. Do you have a, do you have a bearing? Bearing two enemy infantry suppress, do you know? Yes, uh, it's on our travel clock, uh, zero, eight, eight, bearing. 
lava. Ghost Rider, the place I was shooting at is an enemy mass of the trees currently, we're just suppressing them. Copy Ghost all stations, did you copy that? Uh, Ghost Rider just engaged massive from Fjord. Uh, three copies. Back one, one, make sure you have mores available to take on the uh, infantry approaching from the northeast. We'll try it again. I don't see them now. Uh, send for one. Yeah, one one outbound. Yeah, Moore's ready to engage the mass infantry. Approaching oh, to the right. East. Go around. Drop it in. Okay, after this, then we'll go look at the water. Roger that. Ghost Rider, we're stopping uh, suppression, we're looking for mortars now, help. Copy Ghost out. Okay, just tell me where you want to go to look for mortars. Alright, so Sherman said something about 060. For the smoke up the northeast corner, appears to be another mortar round. I think the enemy may be Jinxing, out of light, we don't count on that. Uh, copy that out. So check, check, check to our left, near side, or like around the river, because I think it might be easy to be through the fire there. Take it. squad in it. Yeah, I'm hearing a far to the left somewhere. Okay, we've got contacts, uh, 033 three from Northern Tower. About infantry, about five people. Copy three engages as uh, needed. Uh, remember to keep uh, scanning for technicals and PPI diesel. Those rounds, judging by their angle, were coming from the southwest. Uh, you mean southwest? Don't you mean southeast, over? Uh, I think roughly south. Uh, it's kind of difficult to tell, but they were coming from a southerly direction. Roger. Okay, let's just look for those mortars. So southerly check direction. The, uh, check the compounds on the elevated dune first and then move your way down. Okay, okay so ch check check the mountain hillside. Taking the mountain uh, hillside. Report. One, this is actual report. Um, that, this is uh, brute force winner center tower. We engaged and enemies at 0 6 from our center position. It is squad, I'll see if I can get in contact with uh, one action. Out. Copy out. I'm not seeing any heat signatures right below us, which is the mountain sides. Okay, actual, this is um, one, oh sorry, Bridge Force, Sam, um, no comms on him, we're gonna check on him, they might be down. Out. Okay. get D5 with you and check it out. Yeah. Heat signatures south of FOB at Hillside. I mean, no heat signatures, this area looks clear now. 
Roger, I'm certain that the rounds came from a southerly direction. Bert, would you mind just doing another perspective, please? Okay. Oh, sorry, Alex. I might have seen some. Yep. Um, we have two down on the southern wall, uh, approaching an area to stabilize. Where are you over? I'm just dealing with uh, some nothing Henry's down, I'm sure. Negative on the force. No, uh, three times KIA on the eastern wall. Copy all from Dragon One. Uh, yes. Copy out. Uh, Dragon One, uh, who is in command from you of your squad now? Uh, bridge force, um, I believe Eagle, the AR411 will take over command uh, as a cell. Okay, so where do you want to go the to? Eagle, the this is actual. Uh, is certain that in the southern sector somewhere, maybe southeast. Oh, sorry, uh, negative, sorry. Um, um, uh, well, confirm if he's got a radio, just says, otherwise I'll kind of try and get a radio for him. Right. Looking at possible targets. Side of the river now. All stations take note of new intel. Chatter from the enemy. Push. Activate reserve cell with cell 2. Send 50 men head. Head on. Now we have a squad of 50 moving in on us. Unknown direction of Assume that's only part of the force. Dragon one, this is actual. Brood, be advised, I do have a 152 Reno. Okay, so do you see anything? Negative. But look for those 50 men. Uh, see Dragon one, this is actual. Hold it. Actually, I just uh, I will coordinate with him. I think he's got a radio now. I just want to confirm that he's uh, contact. Like that. Can you actually see far? Uh, one uh, eight seconds. Uh, one actual send. Got the infantry. Actual send. Sorry. Dragon three. This is actual. Any eyes on the uh, wave of any meter? Uh, right. Actual. This is Dragon three. I. Uh, contact uh, 102, about 6 people, I guess about 1.2, 1.3 clicks out. Copy again, scanning for more pieces, we expect about 50-50 infantry approaching, probably with technicals as well. Uh, Wilco will do, out. Actual for one actual. In one actual. Actual, you had a message for me. I received the uh, uh, 152 now. Copy. Uh, I need you to tell me the strength of Dragon 1 uh, at the moment. Over. Roger, wait one. Dragon Actual, this is Ghost Strider, over. That 50 infantry is uh, east of the base, 
about 500 meters from the river. Over. Uh, copy, what is your status at the moment? Uh, have you found any mortars and what is your armament? Over. We have plenty of gun rounds but only six rockets. Our gun rounds are plenty, we only have still have that six rockets, uh, that's a negative on the mortar rounds. Out. Uh, copy, if able, you can um, disrupt the infantry approaching the river with guns only, guns only, um, rip, and then continue to search for mortars. Okay, Roger that, break. we are able to disrupt the uh, infantry zero, with guns. Six, out. I count about 10 to 15 yeah. soldiers, okay. about one pick up. Okay, so what, what, where are they going? 069, 069. They are bearing 83, bearing 4. On I'm our right. aware additional smoke Straight rounds east landing on the east wall. Expect uh, more rounds to follow shortly. Copy, Dragon 1, get into hard cover now. Hard cover now, over. Okay, I don't see them. Oh, what's I was just about to... Dragon 1, pull back to the city. Uh, Dragon 1, uh, I need a reply over. One actual... Uh, actual, this is one actual Roger. Uh, did advise 1-1 one, one and 1-2 to, to get into hard cover and to move back into the Citadel if needed. Auto spotted, take the okay, I don't want to take any more mortal, mortal casualties to get into those concrete bunkers we'll, we'll in the we'll center. Where are they? Uh, they are directly east of us, 96, Roger, 97. Roger, Okay, can you mark them on Lufus track? Marking. Uh, uh, Dragon, we've got people. Uh, people. Dragon 1 off the wall uh, for incoming water rounds. You are our only eyes for the north and east side of it. We've got uh, we've got a couple of Roger. people approaching. One zero two about I guess one click out. I count about ten guys over. Copy, are you able to engage them with uh, machine gun fire? Uh, negative, not oh, at this moment. Zero, They're five, just out of reach for us. Over. Sitting heavy fire. Be out. Break, break, break. Actual. We've got a one times technical direct north on the hilltop overlooking our base. Copy, guys. Try to copy that. SPG technical, north of base, one hilltop. Sorry, please repeat that, please. Shack, shack, shack. Can we three, uh, one, you can, uh, did you take any casualties on the waters? Okay. Yeah, we're sort of going to need this one. Actually, they had a direct hit on the center bunker. Do you want us to go and inspect your clear? Yes, I'm out it. Okay, you pull them in. I'll pull it. Dragon 1, this is actual. Send. Send is, is this timestamp 0532? I'm um, uh, getting a quick yes. um, check on 11 okay. one and 12's one um, status. I believe 11 one one has been hit. I'm gonna try hit him now. Out. Who is that? Sorry, who is that? That's me, everyone's fine. Dragon Axel, this is Ghost Rider, over. Been good. Uh, was that a continuous scene? Yeah. Uh, Ghost Rider have eyes on the mortar team, over. Excellent. Can you mark it on the map and engage with Extreme Prejudice, over? It's marked as 0532, over. You've got eyes. Dragon is 3, so see if you can see that no. 0, 5, uh, 3, in the over. building compound. Alright. Uh, Dragon 3 will look now. How, how many um, buildings from possible, the river? Can you guys bring me extra jab Take rounds it. as well? Not. First building from the river, surrounded by a wall. Okay. Engineer action. Move engineer. Can you resupply Dragon 3 with jab rounds, please? Copy that. What's Dragon 3's current location? Uh, tower, North Tower. Okay, break break, I've got guys, 045, they've got uh, um, mortar rounds as well, about 10 people, they now 047, about 500 meters out, out. Oh. Inside that? 
uh, on our right. Care to engage them, break, uh, one, one right, one, one actual. Yeah. Right below us. Dragonfall the south tower is Oh, that's a hit. different location. Uh, Dragonfall, evacuate the tower. It's, evacuate. it's different from what you bought. And uh, the tower is very, uh, is uh, got hurt and I'm stuck. Uh, like a okay, whole glitch um, over. Okay, I'm going to re-engage. Dragonfall is coming to try and pull you out. Actual for one, actual. In. No, it can be tricky with this terrain, it's kind of repetitive. Actual, uh, Dragon 1 is back to positions. They have been advised to fall back to Citadel into concrete bunkers. If more to the rounds, head back in. So far, holding the line out. Uh, copy, we are busy engaging more to positions now. That's straight on then. Right, you stuck where? Uh, Forward to number uh, tower 3. No, oh, sorry, Dragon 3 and tower. Good effects. Are they both down? Both, both uh, mortar vehicles are out, and I saw three enemies going Let's down. Try uh, what you can think of do is report it in and then also clean up any markers that are out of date on the business tracker. Will do. You can hover over with your mouse and then press the lead key. Uh, report it in first. Well, just report that we did the kill the mortar. Go try the reporting the mortar oh, oh. team is down. Over. Sorry, go try to repeat. 0532 mortar team is down. Over. That is affirmative. Uh, copy, RTB, rearm, uh, so that we can get some uh, support on the infantry other. Roger that. Uh, RTB, out. Yeah, I'm Dragon sometimes three, I don't sir. respond because the, the, the comms are quite busy, so you never say, you never bring anything up that's not actually not important. So if he tells okay. you to go RTP... Uh, um, Dragon 3, I've if, got Dragon I mean, 5 with me, checking me if you agree on ammo for the M4. Unless he sends, like, do you and copy that one? And we're still waiting for ammunition on the out. Roger that. We've got that incoming for you, break. Uh, Dragon so 1, uh, status. Good comms is knowing, uh, like, being able to connect with the least amount of stuff as possible. Yeah. And that is not it. Dragon 1, this oh, is actual thank status. Oh, goodness, the truck is locked. Luckily. Dragon actual, one, dragon one. Okay. This is actual. Actual, this is one actual send. Okay, go get out and you can be getting out dragon now. Dragon one's position is fine, some minor casualties. We're still holding the line towards the okay, take ammo east, for however, the thing, uh, hover over the truck, take ammo uh, for the AH-6J and just break something up to take the vehicle and ace and track on it. Are you rearming rockets? Uh, I'm rearming ammo. Well, for which ammo? Okay, it looks like it's fully on. Yeah, around. Okay, I need to figure out how to bloody... Yeah, how do... Hold on, do you know how to reduce your view distance? Like, because I, I change the settings, doesn't apply. This might be some sort of other game option. I think... I tried to, I tried to move the resupply truck in. Resupply crate into one of these hammers, but it didn't work. Okay, so um, perhaps now to change the view distance because the uh, video settings aren't having an effect. Uh, view distance on what? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I just I just want to reduce my view distance, but I can't figure out how to do that. Oh wait, hold on. Um, we're still using. Oh, we're still we're still using uh, alive. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know okay. how to use the uh, CBA. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's get back in. Engineer, uh, copy that. Unfortunately, I'm just trying to figure out how to load the resupply crate. It seems like it can't, so I'm having to do it one by one at this stage. Uh, just problem solving. Copy that. Uh, we've got the uh, squad approaching from 1 1 2. Looks like 10 to 15 people as well. And there's a guy, there's two guys with mortar rounds out. Copy that. Uh, 
Copy, Ghost Rider, are you rearmed? Affirmative, over. And from your clear to engage uh, any and all uh, infantry approaching us. Look out. Okay, see him. Looking for them now. Why is he too technical? Okay. Uh, Dragon 3, just say the distance yep. on those technical. approaching enemies, over. Moving. Uh, I will look for them now and give you a distance, over. Okay. The technical is on the road. The, the one on the road I hit is destroyed. Uh, I didn't see it go down. Pretty sure I hit it right in the face, there was a second one. Hey, Dragon, you have two technical, what, two technicals coming from the north, I think I destroyed one of them. Uh, one, it's just free, it looks like uh, 800 meters away, out. Copy, did you get Ghost Rider's message about the technicals to the north? Yeah, I destroyed one. Uh, copy that, I will look for the vehicles now, over. I didn't see the other one. Ready for the second vehicle now? Uh, so, two technicals dealt with on the northeastern side of the compound. Okay, probably a quicker. Copy yeah. out. Steve, so what's happening with the logistics? So. so. That's Pips, I'm just moving. Uh, another technical south. Hold the base. Uh, 121. Oh, I see him. He's right near the. Yeah. Dodge into the contingent of uh, infantry as well. Yeah. Just report that in. Dragon 1, if you spot enemies, mark them with red smoke so Ghost uh, Rider can attack them. Break, break, break. Technical Roger southwest. Roger, who actual. Break, break, break. Technical southwest of the base. Bit of fake. Three kiddos on the down. technical. Uh, we'll go, we'll do. Technical is down. Out. Shack. Two southwest technical is down. Guys, uh, Rider also reporting um, a contingent infantry with that technical out. Copy that, uh, Guys, Rider, you are clear to engage them. Okay, so Ghost Rider still four up we killed the squad now. There's more than four up there. We're gonna need to put a lot more of them down. Look up. Targets are on the red smoke. I'm gonna hit his gun. I guess first it's with guns to preserve rocket. Makes sense. I'm just trying to locate them. There's too many of them for the guns, I gotta hit with the rock. Bunch of shifting uh, mark. Uh, three report, northern technical, is it down? Search the red smoke. I think it might have been an RPG gunner. Copy, 
Ghost, uh, prioritize RPG gunners uh, to our south again. Uh, is this infantry of it? Yes. Yeah, I can't tell who has an RPG now. I'm seeing three enemies, three to four, four enemies on. There's only four left, right? Only four left. Uh, five, see what you can do about three. Uh, look at that. Uh, Dragon 5, when you okay, approach that building, see if it's structurally south. I need to evacuate there. Looking for vehicles. It's a ghost rider, and now there's only four infantry according to my observer to the south. Out. Roger, they're within range for Dragon 4 to keep their heads down. I say again, do you want me to keep their heads down, over? No, I'm saying I will handle it. Messing on the other side of the river. Now it's Stefan. It, one KI DJ tower. The tower still looks off decent. Uh, one more shot, they need to evacuate him. Okay, well, remember, if, once you got a once you got a good uh, message on Intel on enemy, report it in. Don't wait for me. Okay, hundred percent. Dragon actual, this is Ghost Rider over. No, send for action. I've got a contingent enemies uh, huddled up in a field uh, to your east on the far side of the river. Over. Copy of that. Um, if you are able, you appear to engage. Otherwise, keep scanning. Okay, so you have to give me a bearing. Can you mark them on C tab. So that's a negative for the mark on C tab. Marking now. Right to the body that's perpendicular to the commander of the enemy group destroyed. Attic? Um, it's to the left of the body. Is that 0547 marker? How far out? From the river? About um, 200 meters. Uh, that is correct, Dragon Actual. We are clear to engage. Try not to see it. There, in those um, field, it's to the west of the field on that edge. You see the field. I see a lot of fields. <laughs> um, it's a brown field, just off the first green field. Uh, okay, I see. Okay, I think I see that. Who are they going to that? That's in that field where they are on the southwest. Well, that's the only brown field I saw. Roger, uh, one one has yellow, um, bold. Well, actually, useful is to identify the types of fields, like the beforehand and the upward, like the, these green ones are like, these kinds. Actual, this is one actual currency in our state. We would need uh, uh, ammo resupply to not towards the in middle in it, uh, uh, bunker, it. as well as D5 assistance yeah, towards the south the middle bunker. Copy that, uh, engineer. Tracer. Uh, engineer yeah, copies last, is on his way to center bunker. Okay, I'm going around again. Roger. It's yeah. on our zero 090 right now. Dragon 1, resupplies and medic inbound, over. They're trying to find something. There's a lot of people, right? Roger, uh, 1, actual help. Yeah, but they're hiding in the tree. Dragon 3, report the... station. Uh, like there or something? It's right below us, on the left-hand side. Okay. Dragon 3, report status. Uh, Dragon 3 is uh, yellow on ammunition for the normal M4s and green on javelin rounds. Uh, medical status also green, over. 
here of the gunfight line. We keep scanning our uh, surroundings, we'll sort you out now for... Okay, uh, I see one guy running in the brownfield over there. Uh, yeah, that's that. We've got one guy, that's where we run from off. From the north, over. Copy, infantry. Huh? Wall compromised on the east, uh, uh, like wall to the south. Infantry. Uh, Dragon 3 evacuate your tower now, evacuate your tower now. I think we can focus on the infantry in the desert unless I can spot the... Rocket fire in the east. Dragon 1, can you see from the east the fire? Okay, I see, I see it's the northeast. east because it's pressing. Okay. Let's ride a note, we'll take the rocket fire for now. Friday, there's a whole bunch of enemy infantry from up, up on the hill directly north of the base. So. You guys can engage if you can. Actual Dragon 3 is evacuating the building. Over. Uh, I hope you've evacuated already. Dragon 3, are you up? Uh, negative 5, got two guys down. I'm the only one that's up. I'm gonna uh, require uh, support relatively quickly. Um, uh, Dragon 1, uh, report on your side. So we're moving to the west side of that um, hill. Then. What is your status on the wall? Still up. Shallow strafing from a distance. Dragon one, like did you copy? Fall back to the citadel. Roger. Fire one one and one two is falling back. Mm. Front fire is quite ineffective. This special we'll try yeah. getting raising fire. Dragon five, uh, we have a mass gas on northern building that collapsed. Um, we've got a CCP set up just behind the intel bunker. Ghost, Ghost Rider, this is Engineer. Send over. Uh, Northern hillside, there's still some enemies up. It looks like you might have an RPG. Roger out. Keep to the bushes of the right of where you last engaged. It's in about 1,254 rounds of guns, actually not that much of it. Copy, uh, focus on concentrations of enemy and technicals if you can. 
and I don't think we have time to re rearm you over. Right, I was contemplating a very hot rearmament, um, but uh, I think we might be able to make do. Break, break, break. Side, east side. If you feel side, you can, but east side. Note, we have all pulled back to the Citadel, and you will be sitting duck for rockets over. Copy. Where are they now? Uh, they're breaching the wall now. Break, break, break. They push from the east wall. Eastern wall, eastern wall, enemy. Inside the wall, not down. About a thousand rounds to kill, a thousand rounds to kill one person. Engineer, this section. Perfect, Jim. Okay, have you mined our uh, or claim all the entrances over? Uh, not yet. I'm currently doing it on the way. That seems to have taken care of the northern enemies. Okay, 942 after that. Find me a large concentration of enemies. Okay, let's look for a large concentration. Enemy in between the barrack buildings and the northern side. One enemy infantry crouched southeast breach of the wall out. Southeast. That's uh, friendly over. Um, that is reported friendly over on this uh, corner of the southeastern wall. Confirmed friendly. Okay. Any, do, you have, do you see any concentration of enemies? Not close together. Only spread apart. As a ghost rider, we only have sightings on spread apart enemies. I'm trying to preserve my ammo for concentration. So I'll Calling out what you see uh, if they get closer. All right. Uh, to the south. Are the large enemies to the south? Yeah, right in front of us. Oh, I see. Large concentration of enemies. Who I'm flying over right now. While I'm flying flares. Large uh, about enemy platoon strength infantry over here going to engage. Now. Okay, enemy platoon strength to the south. Mocking blue force tracker. Yeah, uh, this is Dragon Four. Can't do much oh. for spotting at the moment. Do you still leave me up here? That was a negative hit on those enemies. You mean negative hits? Uh, I'm seeing one day. <laughs> At least I slowed them down. Yeah, they're retreating. So, like, like I always say, I'm not saying, never saying I'm gonna kill them, I was just saying I'm gonna suppress them.
was ein Faktor. Ein Grieß war. Ja, viel nicht. Ja. Yeah. I can use my last rockets on the concentration infantry, so it's a high reward. Yeah. Copy out. Light spinning, I'll vary uh, almost. Okay. Actual engineer? Uh, are you rockets? Yeah, it's not just two rockets, it's the quickest. Roger that. In fact, there's, there's two sets of rockets. Uh, actual, just outside of the western gate, just outside of the Citadel, okay. by the mortar pits, I have one times weapons, uh, weapons crate for Dragon 3 and one times weapons crate for Dragon 1. Uh, copy, coordinate with 1 and 3, I have them rearmed quickly. Copy that. Is the Ghost Rider going to risk a rearm since we're pretty much out of everything except the bullets? Then, yeah, our Ghost approved. Uh, it's a quiet now, so the base time is now. Okay, well, let's, let's both get out and do it faster. Roger that. Uh, copy that, I just confirmed, uh, we just two members left in Dragon 3 and we're both green on ammo and green on health currently. Okay, uh, do the guns, I'll, I'll take the rockets. Okay, so I'm taking guns, you're taking ammo. I, mean, oh, the, 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 uh, I wasn't aware you're here, okay. I was talking the signal there. Around and you're doing uh, missiles, eh? I'm doing rockets. You both, you guys can do the, the guns. Okay, okay anything else? No, it's flares. I'll, I'll rearm flares for you. That's ah, not necessary. Okay, also need to refuel since we're dangerously low. So, signal, I'm gonna land near the fuel bladder as well. Okay, just give me a second. Let me just quickly reload this. Okay. Tell you when you're ready. I'm just putting flares in, so in case okay. you. Okay. Yeah, plenty of flares. Uh, okay. That. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, then you can go. You're ready. The signal. Do you, have you rearmed with a uh, fuel bladder before? Actually, no. What? Uh, we'll kill the infantry first. Fuck it. Sorry. Could you just repeat that? Have you actually? We'll kill the infantry first, and then we'll refuel. Roger that. Okay. Oh shit. Uh, I have to, I have to set my radio. Technical are right in front of us. To the right, to the right, to the right. Shit, we're around again. I'm not in the radio, by the way. So you have to do all calm. Oh, okay. Oh, I got him. Maybe he's not there. Take it. Yeah, he's down. You have a mass of infantry approaching from the east. I'm going to get to the west south. That was good effect. Also bring it down. Best rider is up. Okay, I'm gonna focus on other concentrations to the east, right? East. I'm only seeing concentrations of enemy east in the trees in the bolt up areas. I see. Quite spread out. Okay, he's done. Best rider as we are. We are, we are um, 
engaging enemies. Roger that, we are taking them out as we can. Yeah, that is great. Dragon Action, I'm going to need you to uh, spot those rounds for me, else we can't do much here. Uh, copy, I'll uh, uh, give, me a, give me one more. Oh, wait, wait one, wait one. Uh, Dragon 4, give me a... 5 actual enemy outside the Copy. Okay, um, Dragon Actual, this is Guy Strider. We've got enemies um, in all the buildings um, to your east. Copy, note. Can you confirm there are enemies? Um, we do a note. We know, uh, see some civilians with their hands up over. Confirm for you, over. Uh, uh, Dragon Actual, I'm flying over right now and, and flaring. There's one enemy, an enemy, like two, like one small enemy squad left. They're just standing there doing nothing. Uh, copy, you clear to finish them off if you can. Okay, just check out this is going through it now.
notified all stations. Make sure you are um, checking all sectors and that you are rearmed. Check on your members. Uh, quick scene or on actual copies. Three copies. I'm not seeing any enemies close to the uh, civilians. Uh, that's a negative. I don't see any enemies close to the civilians with their hands up. On our right now. Just zooming over low just to see and hear gunfire. And they shoot at us, it's a great way of telling where they are. Yes. Okay. We'll see what the intel say. All stations, listen up. New intel. Direct quote from the commander. You useless bunch. No more 72 vengeance for you. Stations keep keep up uh, security. Will advise. Uh, over to you now. One actual copy. Three copy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's done. If you want to get everybody in. Uh, Ghost Rider RTP. All stations. Uh, let's meet up here in the middle of the Citadel. One actual copy. And land the citadel, there's people over there. Yeah, no, you're not gonna... Yeah, if you if you take the uh, southwest, you could land. Uh, it's an easy landing if there weren't people on the way. Yes. Uh, Dragon, where are we going to take a picture of it? Uh, I thought you are in the citadel by the wind soccer. Roger, do you want me to put the chopper in there? I think that'll be a good idea. We'll see if he still says that after the crash. <laughs> 
Okay, they're coming from the... Cause I think my frames are terrible if I'm looking towards the east. I can come in from the west. Land on the south side of the Citadel. I, I gotta make my approach uh, facing westwards because my frame's much better facing that direction. <laughs> Copy. Yeah, so coming in, just la just land on the left side uh, of the crates or by the crates. No, that's exactly where I was. Akis, can you just uh, tell the guys if there are any spectators? Everyone line up in front of the chopper. Helmets off if you died. Ah, oh, Pips. Oh. Underwear off if you died twice. <laughs> <laughs> Underwear on your head if you died twice. Uh, uh, that, yeah, Tiger line up. Yeah. Can somebody uh, just uh, ping Ricky? Um, uh, do not see him here and I uh, see his corpses here. Are we sure Why he's dead do I see Cool down? J's um, yeah, is off mic? His, his receiver is open on my screen. Where's Ricky? My receiver? Yeah, your gun receiver. Uh, uh, no, no, yes. just wait. Oh, yeah. Rick, no, Rick, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Uh, Ricky is Re not here. Reload, I'm waiting. Cool J. Cool J, just reload your gun. Okay. That's excellent. You've got an erection. <laughs> <laughs> of your of your port. <laughs> That's it. My gun had a really good night. You can't you can't calm down. So matter of interest, matter of interest, guys. Uh, oh, again. Like that again. And up again, bro. Jump your gun and pick it again. Pick it too excited. Let's go stand behind. Pull up. Just drop oh. your gun and pick it up behind you, right now. Here comes Ricky. Copy. Ricky. Hello, Ricky. I'll just go stand at the back. Still loading in, Sam. Sam, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not yes, sure if it's okay. a consolation to anyone. If anyone do follow it or anyone okay. are interested. Otherwise, just stand at the back. Um. Just sort it out now. No, otherwise I'll stand yeah, at the back. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Copy. Uh, could you just move left or to your right a little bit? Right. Okay. Other left. Uh, that's that's fine. That's fine. Right. Yeah. Is that everyone? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, short one. Oh. Did you guys That's smile? <laughs> <laughs> like a deep thought. Um, That's it. You, you need to I'm ask uh, how many of us have got teeth left to smile. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sam. Um, I took a screenshot of my health status. Every lamp is either splint or is just damaged. <laughs> so, you, so you're going to get a purple heart at least. Yes. <laughs> if he gets one, I should definitely get one. You should one. have come to the middle bunker. <laughs> I think he, I it sounds like he needs a purple circulatory system medal. <laughs> I just want a comfortable basket. This was rough. My my uh, Intel bunker's aircon died for like two minutes. <laughs> 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 nearly didn't make it. Yeah, tough yeah you can tell when he's from the Air Force, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were roughing it, dude. <laughs> uh, all right. I can't actually see any bullet holes in the chopper because we got hit by some 50 cal a little bit. I didn't feel it. I mean, like, hit, hit, I feel it hit. Also, we have about oh. about 120 seconds left of fuel left. So. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, I, good, good job by the, the little bird. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, that, that, thing, that thing saved us tonight. <laughs> Alright, that and the, and the javelin. Yeah. 
All right. Uh, Phoenix, just help me again. I forgot the format of the debrief. Well, just, right. just briefly what happened. Well, okay. Uh, we woke up this morning at coffee. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we secured the base and we started taking um, attacks from the enemy. We did get some in uh, periodic intel. It wasn't all that useful most of the time. But at least it did tell us what's happening, sort of. Um, the enemy attacked. We took some mortar fire, a couple of waves of mortar fire. That was quite devastating. We did manage to eventually locate it, and uh, Ghost Rider took that out for us. Uh, D3 engaged several technicals with the Javelin. Uh, Dragon 1 held the east wall uh, against waves of enemy. Uh, D4, I don't think we actually had... A Apart from the end, any mortars going out? Am I correct? Yeah, so yeah, okay. basically until the end, uh, we only got two spotting rounds out. Okay. Yeah, I think that was difficult with the moving enemy. Um, we also slammed Bravo's site. We abandoned slamming Alpha's site because we took too much fire. Deemed it not, si not uh, safe to do that. Um, we eventually started taking uh, quite effective rocket RPG fire on the towers, sure. which eventually took down tower, uh, the northern tower with D3 in there. Uh, we'll talk about what went wrong there. Um, then uh, we had a couple of breaches in the walls that the engineer was able to mine some of them. Eventually, we started taking an uh, overwhelming uh, push from the north and the east, and I pulled back everyone to the citadel. We fell back to the citadel. Uh, at that point, Ghost Rider took down uh, most of the outside enemies in groups. We also were able to get some uh, mortar fire out where, for enemy that was crossing uh, through these uh, little cornfields here up to our position here. Uh, I think the last round actually took some of them out. And that's basically more or less what happened. I know we took a few casualties along the way. Uh, Dragon 1, what happened with you? Okay, um, we had a quick kit up and the SL took the ARs to the wall um, early in the mission, uh, securing the northeastern and southern eastern sector. There was a b bit of an issue for one of the teams to enter the bunker and they joined me at the center bunker. We had a uh, small single infantry approaching that we dealt with and um, by mission start uh, we uh, then had more formal groups attacking us but that we suppressed uh, adequately and um, uh, we had a mortar strike and the second one took me out and that's where my selling stopped. Okay, that's where mine started. But it was quite brief. So, um we moved to the new A cell and a member of 1 1. Moved to the southern eastern side and covered there. Most, mostly infantry also coming from the east. Uh, we were well spread out, but then again, we took uh, Mortify and then my SL ended. Did we end up with a rifleman as SL eventually or not? No, no. Reno! <laughs> <laughs> one, one. Oh yeah, and then that's when mine took over and that's when the shit hit the fan. <laughs> and what can I say, it was just chaos from there, but uh, held the line towards the northeast, where that breach was where most of the infantry were coming on, where Slam A is marked. And then pretty much not long after that was the call for to fall back into the cell and then the taken up and we held up. Yeah. All right. Uh, D3. Uh, D3. When we started, we uh, uh, occupied the northern tower, and um, yeah, we were we got a, a whole bunch of people approaching, mostly from the eastern side that we approached. We took out a couple of tacticals on the northern and southern side. And um, yeah, we were there, and then um, as we were on our way out, uh, we were on the bottom floor. The tower collapsed, obviously, and um, yeah, and unfortunately, Ricky passed there. But uh, Tiger and I, we made it through, and 
Yeah, then we were supporting. Okay, four. Yeah, well done to Tiger. I see uh, he got 26 kills. <laughs> Dragon yeah, four. Do my part. Seven. Yeah, hang on. I've got massive lag here, so I can't hear you clearly. Uh, so I spent most of the time in the tower, either vaguely directing D3, uh, sorry, Ghost Rider, or using, um, using smoke grenades to designate the position of the target more, even though it really needed since they had the, uh, they had the pod. Uh, other than that, I was basically the sole occupant of the south tower. Yeah, I think we lost Shimon there. It's gone to D5. Uh, it was quite tough, seeing as <laughs> every time there was like one casualty, it was like four people because of the mortars. And uh, sadly, you can't do much because they like die instantly. But overall, I don't think it was that many casualties, seeing as the mortars are quite powerful. Be in the ghost? I don't think I have anything to add, based on what you said earlier. Right. Uh, anything, anyone want to. Uh, Mention that we're what went well. He survived. Uh, from uh, <laughs> uh, D3 side, the spotting of the enemies uh, was done quite well. The um, most infrared uh, or the most uh, uh, signature worked quite well. I must the say the, yeah, the jazz. The other guys. situational awareness and communication between um, the three of us as well. I think that also helped a lot. That's good. Anyone else? So, um, I obviously, I think Ghost Rider, um, the observer, eventually, because um, it was Neuron, new uh, I think did well with observing spotting targets, so CTAB, the observation pod. And then rockets, being able to rapidly rearm the rocket, because the guns are really only good for suppressing the enemies. Um, I think I've probably only killed like, basically 1,000 rounds of ammo to kill one enemy in infantry with that. But suppressing <laughs> it definitely slows them down very effectively. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if we well, if we take into account your your airstrike on the your gun run on the northern hill there with those squad of infantry, they were rushing us hard, and the minute you came past, they were rushing very hard in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> so it worked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I must say, yeah, um, I'm really happy we put uh, Ghost Rider up yeah, instead but, of the mortars. But but the rockets still like like once you figure out once you learn how to s basically snipe from afar with that with the unguided rockets, then it becomes extremely effective at killing things. Because yeah. uh, I'm just looking at what in terms of the the kills, I'm just looking at statistics and don't don't really see those that there, it even exists. You have uh, two Podnos Hiluxes and mortars, and then two Z uh, one Z23 Hilux and SPG 9 Hilux, two. Uh, normal Dishka Hiluxes. And the only kills point that I have is, is six ri enemy riflemen, but um, I think uh, it says I have 22 civilian kills, but I suspect that's because they're unconscious, so they counted as civilian. So I'm hoping <laughs> that's why. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's why. Right, uh, what went wrong? Uh, yeah, uh, mortar strikes. Yeah, but me, any mortars. Right. Yeah, I would hope uh, so. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, there's nothing you really can call. I mean, that's very circumstantial situation. Yeah, uh, right. yeah our spread was good, I, I, I think. And uh, yeah, sure. But uh, Henry and them, I think they had a direct hit on them. Yeah, uh, instant kill. Yeah. One thing I'm wondering, I heard that yeah, like the problem is it, the what? this base is not reliably built for the outer. Co yeah, you, you can't get to the outer perimeters without being shelled. Like normally, you would have yeah. like a, a sandbag pathways to the outer perimeter, so you can safely travel along those, for example. Yeah. Um, I, I heard a lot, like like uh, someone saying on the radio, "Hey, I need some stitches, Alex. Can you come to the other corner of the base and give yeah, me some I stitches?" Yeah, I heard that, Joe. <laughs> You're a lot of running. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I think that's kind of went bad. I, so, 
if if you're if you're in, if if people are in contact and you're still able to fight and you're still conscious, you don't need a you don't need a medic. Just just, no, just I, I would I would yeah. say one maybe one exception there, and I think that was the one that was mainly asking for it, was that uh, uh, D three was the Java operator. Uh, it was me. Yeah, and I think it was even calling. I actually want to say in that case, let the let the D five go and stitch him. Because that was a key role that needed to be up. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, a quick clot uh, is almost as good as a stitch much of the time. So you can yeah, clot true. yourself, then it's pretty, pretty good. I mean, uh, only if you're like dangerously low in blood, but you're still conscious. Because if you go unconscious and you're really low in blood, then you'll die almost instantly after that. So that's yeah. one, one, one case where you can. Where you're, probably the only scenario I think where if you're still conscious and you're in contact, you can go off for a medic, but the medic will have to prioritize. I mean, if, it's, if, if, if someone hears, if the medic hears someone say, hey, can you give me some stitches and blood, the medic will put, must automatically put them on the bottom of the list. Because the people yeah. who cannot ask for medical assistance because they're unconscious who gets the first priority. Yeah, no, we had yeah, I think, yeah, I, I think communication. Uh, we, the, the body aid was good, and um, also treating ourselves was good. Uh, the only time when I was really calling uh, when uh, Alex wasn't close by, when I asked for his help, is when I lost a lot of blood and literally every limb was bleeding. Um, I ran out of uh, elastic bandages as well, and uh, so I had quite a bit of a situation there. But apart from that, um, the only time we really, you know, the guys helped himself, it's the, it's the only, you know, when he's close by and he does his round and he comes past just to let him know there is something at the Northern Tower when he's close by. Ooh, quiet, you're, you're gunning for the most manliest man competition. Like, you, you're <laughs> walking around with the jab and you say, I was like bleeding out of every limb and stuff like that, running out of bandages. But other than that, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Real men keep their blood inside them. Um, <laughs> so I have one thing, uh, uh, D3. Um, the status of your tower was already in question after that first mort uh, uh, missile strike or rocket strike. And then it, I remember at some when we started getting the next missiles, I told you to evacuate. And then two minutes later or something, you got to hit again and then it collapsed. Yeah, that was. Uh, so that mistake. evacuation was too slow. Yeah, no, it was my mistake. I had to guys, I had to get the guys out quicker. Um, I thought of uh, if 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 anyone can just if everyone can just grab uh, one of the jazz rounds on the ground, because I didn't know how many jazz rounds we have left in the crates. So I thought let everybody just pick up a jazz round and run, but that was too slow from my side. I had to yeah. be quicker um, there. Quite. Yeah. Quiet. Yes. You want to know how many jab rounds you got left? No. Hey, look up <laughs> there in the sky. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. Where's Northern there? That's literally all that he's left. So he didn't have a bad idea. It's just a pity. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no but he left in the crate. It's empty. Yeah. No, no, no it, it just took too long. too long. I think we made it to the ground floor, and then as just like just before we left, uh, just before we got out the door, it collapsed on us. So we were pretty close. Just yeah. Not, not quick enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another. Uh, thing is, I think 60 mil uh, caliber, a little too large, and um, not enough people to appropriately organize um, the 80 mils. I think we, I think 60 mil would have been much more reliable. Yeah, I agree. And then another thing that I think went wrong from my side, at least, um, would be in uh, Dragon One. Just uh, the the issues with succession of command and not, people not knowing others were down from those uh, mortar strikes. Yeah, so maybe if from my side there was quite a, a issue communicating with one after brute force went down. So we must just work on, on making sure that that, that uh, goes on. So if you're in Dragon 1 and you hear actual, if you're one of the FTLs and you hear the SL is being called and he's not answering, then uh, the next in line, which would be 1-1 one, one, is uh, uh, FTL, to take over pr uh, as a precaution without confirming that uh, the SL is dead. If the SL isn't answering after two or three radio calls, then he's e ineffective, even if he's not dead. Then one of you need to take over. You Good. can always give it back to him if you find him just on the wrong channel or something. But Or crying in a corner. Or crying in a corner. But you don't, you don't need to see a body yeah. in a DNA sample to take over command. <laughs> <laughs> you can just you can just say uh, one one FTL is taking command 
and do it. And then if he's mad at you afterwards, that's fine. But we need uh, to give that keep that going. Uh, no, if if the one one FTR goes down, um, then does the one two FTR take over, or does his AR? No, uh, one, the one two one AR. One, one two one, FTR. One two FTR. There's, is there's, there's the confusion. The okay. only, prob only problem was that 1-2 FTL went was in the same motor strike as 1-1 one, one FTL when he was uh, involved. Yeah. <laughs> no, so look, your, it was, I know you took a lot of casualties and it, it, it was rough, but um, yeah. it, if you hear the call and you hear the guys above you aren't answering, then probably you are now the guy on the top. <laughs> you need to do something. Okay, no, yeah, you know, what I did is just relay it to your SL. Yeah, so also I was one and a half seconds away from just telling you now you're back in <laughs> back as yourself. Because you're yeah, the only was, one talking to me. <laughs> there was also a radio issue because they didn't have uh, 152s. Yeah, yeah, yeah that no, was that's the fine. issue. No, no we were uh, split up. One thing though, this is not something that went wrong. Um, it's just, uh, it was just interesting. If, uh, Heavy approach like this, where we had, yes, it was quite difficult sometimes when you spot the target to get an opportunity or to get a chance to talk on the radio and to report the contacts. Uh, yeah, the radio was quite busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it was quite quite busy tonight. Yeah, maybe, maybe this is a question for Phoenix to uh, also just practice radio relay. So if you know that your uh, commander doesn't have a 152, that um, the other members can then relay messages with actual. Okay, I mean like your like fighting leader or squad leader something? Yeah, or, or engineer has two radios, so he can also just relay on 343 uh, the comms. Oh, oh I see. Um, just one thing that I want to bring up, um, right at the end when we started getting called in for mortar fire, uh, there was a lot of stepping over on actual and force uh, radio chatter. Um, we and the other thing that Sherman also mentioned, and I'm fully in agreement with him, is the uh, brevity in our communications. Mm. We we need to work on that because we we were firing mortar fires, we were waiting for confirmation, um, and then we got stepped over, and then the round landed, and we waited for like another two and a half, three minutes before we could even get the radio channel open to ask how was the round impact. By then, the enemy has moved 100 meters off to yeah. the northern side. That is really detrimental. You had a bigger force, and you needed that mortar fire. Yeah. You is it, have is it, it the possibility to have the a guy specific like you guys with a mortar fire to have them maybe on a different channel, um, you know, uh, and just to keep that channel open because for you it's crucial to have a chance to speak when you need to. Is it is it okay to have a channel like specifically for you guys? that you can communicate with regarding the mortar fire? Well, yes or no. Yes, is it makes the flow of comms easier, but no, then the other fire team leads won't know what's happening on the fire missions. So it's win one, lose one sort of um, scenario. Yeah, but both ends... Uh, so, for example, the one case where it makes sense is if you have a JTAC, like an, a, a CAS aircraft, and then a JTAC, and uh, only, the, only the JTAC is going to be communicating with, with a CAS then it makes sense. Both sides can focus on dedicated radio channels and nothing else. But in this scenario, we have both helicopter uh, needing to communicate with like troops on the ground, for, uh, like any any of the Dragon 1, Dragon 3 on the ground, and need to communicate back. And then you have artillery needing to communicate um, with people on the ground, like anybody on the ground even back. So it's like the, the, th those assets can have dedicated radios, but then there's no one, no one to talk to necessarily unless you want to have a relay chain of like like, uh, like yeah, yeah, need ground. HQ basically relaying all the yeah, messages. Yeah, they all yeah. get relayed and it slows everything down in that sense. So I mean, yeah, uh, they might get better if the comms get too heavy, though. Yeah, net coordinator. Mm. Um, one other suggestion I've got: uh, Would it be possible uh, to maybe have both the fire team leader and the AR have one five two, uh, both of them? Because uh, it happens a lot that the FTR goes down. And you might be at a different situation. You can't, the AR can't get the 152s. Yeah, I support that. I've wanted to know that in earlier missions as well. Yeah, I don't want to spoil people with too many 152s. So I would say just get it out of the gun. Put, put your 152 in your backpacks so if you die, then someone else can fetch it. Copy uh, that. Okay. Okay. Good idea. Yeah, we could salvage from Henry and give it to Rena, I think. Or well, who was it? Ooh. Uh -oh. well, look, you should, you should know if ATL goes yeah. down. Somebody should know that he's down. So if he knows he's down, if his buddy is, can pick up the radio. 
I mean, the, having having each FTL have one five two is already a uh, luxury. Yeah. Right. Um, any any other uh, what went wrong? No, nothing. Uh, I think we've covered pretty much everything. Right. What can we learn? So I, I just gotta so two of those points if I remember what they are now because I think we we, we did all, all good. Okay. One uh, obviously like I was talking about the medic is um, when you're in contact, don't bother the medic if you don't, if you don't absolutely need him. And then the other thing, I forgot what it was, so yeah, maybe, maybe anyone else? <laughs> mm -mm. You'd have guessed it uh, fairly well. How many civilians? <laughs> how many civilians dead? Yeah, how many, how many I civilians did ISIS kill? kill? I have a question. Go, go to map, <laughs> and click on statistics, and it shows you your statistics, right? Then it says, the second one says, your kills friendly units. What does that yeah. mean? How many friendlies you killed? Oh, never mind. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Alex, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I killed people. I uh -huh. killed five people. Apparently, I killed a medic. A friendly medic. <laughs> Go uh -huh. That's a war crime. Why did Mr. M kill himself? <laughs> <laughs> it says two by Mr. M. It was yeah. getting too much for you. So. <laughs> like crying corner. Yeah, so that's kind of the way the ace medical system works. That when you actually bleed out to death, then it's, you actually it's uh, counted as a suicide. Uh, nice. oh, okay. And the other people that that they've uh, that they show there are people that you um, helped or what? Who kills? So Phoenix, do you show any <laughs> civilians <laughs> no, under no, your the stats? It shows. Okay, I, I'm trying to understand it. It shows 22 times, then it shows five times, <laughs> then it shows another 22 times. Under well, under civilian casualties. Yes, but like okay. I'm saying, I doubt the civilian <laughs> because I. We didn't fire any rockets, uh, like like almost no rockets into a built-up area. Actually, no. And um, it was a technical, but I, I don't think we kill. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, Bucky's can maybe tell us about that. I think there is a thing there. So look, in terms of the civilian count, there's probably about 30 odd civilians within this town right here, up until the riverbed. There are no civilians opposite the riverbed. There's also no civilians further than. Uh, I would say 300 meters to the north and 300 meters to the west. So if you look at the mosque, anything more south of the mosque tower, uh, no civilians there. If you look at where the plateau is on the north, uh, and you draw a perpendicular line to the town, no civilians further than that. Uh, but there was obviously civilians being killed that they got killed. But over there, that's circumstantial. Were there any Did civilians you? in the technicals, in the vehicles? Mm, no, none. Okay. Okay, but these guys with two crutches with the RPG strapped on their backs. Now, what was that? A bit more of that. That's a mortar, guys. That looked weird. Uh, as f uh, crutches? Uh, it looks like they're on crutches. Yeah. 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 Well, I, just I took out a couple of those. Yeah, so I, I, I think your first reaction is appropriate. Like, oh my god, what is that abomination? Kill it! <laughs> 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 it does look like um, some creature. I thought we were fighting against the Paralympics. <laughs> <laughs> Did we kill 22 of the 30 civilians? No. That's collateral damage of like 73%. No, no, no. It's no. fine. No, no, so no, 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 no. I'll, 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 I'll tell you now, in terms of civilians, on a quick count, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 within the tree lines to the southeast that was killed by us. Two in the building to the southeast, so that's seven civilians. And then I think there was another one. It's still almost a third. No, sorry, that's it. So seven subs that I can see. So we, we killed 212 enemies. Mm -hmm. Or 212 people. Um, only seven were civilian. Uh, now, in that's... No, no, sorry. Uh, oh, you can't see it. Uh, kind of where I'm, where I'm pointing, actually. Go. So, uh, I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing. Yeah, no, I see it. Uh, yeah. is, that, is that where some civilians were killed? Uh, wait, what? I mean... Just let me go there. Because I think you, you might be able to see it in your Zeus map. How many, uh, how many yellow dots are there? <laughs> <laughs> many civilians. Well, wait, uh, I don't see the yellow dots. Well, well, well everyone's pointing, Jeez. so I guess you don't see it there. Uh, you can't find it. 0809. No, that's, that's not civilians, that were all enemy. Okay, because I, I did dump some rockets over the, you know, mm. f yeah, okay, yeah, just for fun. Yeah, well, yeah. No, no, th that was all perfect. I mean, that was all, there was no collateral damage. Uh, the rockets were spot on, and there was no civilian structures damage. Yeah, no, I don't need a bit of shrapnel. Well, the, the, there was a f several thousand stray bullets going everywhere there. True. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, um, there's nothing else from my side other than I want to show you guys this little... Hold on. 
bug. What bug is that? So you, you know the you know the plateau on the north hand side. Yeah. I'm gonna spawn a um, SPG truck up there, and then he's gonna shoot the mountain range uh, southwest. Okay. Um, but <laughs> the, the, this is funny as fuck, guys. So hopefully this doesn't kill us. Oh, is, no. this, is this a 60 round and 20 seconds thing? Oh, fuck off. Uh, sorry, give me one second. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Great, it's a press of fire. Okay, uh, let's just do 15 seconds of full automatic on target alpha. Where are you looking? No, it's south of southeast. Come on, shoot now. Is he there? Yeah, I see. Look now that way, please. Ugh, now he's fucking camera shy. <laughs> what is he doing? Wait one second, I'm just gonna spawn a new target. I take credit for that. You can't rotate him. Can't I can rotate rot him. I can rotate him. But he's turret is Can I destroy No you done it. Was that him? <laughs> uh no. No, okay. He doesn't want to do it. Right. I think we're done. <laughs> yeah, is there anything else you guys want to say or can I hashtag no. missions? Do hashtag missions. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. User joined your joined your channel. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. I thought I'd catch people out and make them think we're being attacked, but it didn't happen. Uh.